Welcome to Skinny TV on YouTube once again. Latest and latest updates coming in from the camp of Blackstar's team, Blackstar's players, and some few other updates we need to know in this one. I've already brought you an update today concerning where Blackstar's team will be playing. According to the National Sports Authority, the match between Ghana and Sudan next month is going to be played in Ghana here, either Kraus Sports Stadium or Cape Coast Sports Stadium. Now, after the last update, we have the sports minister together with some NAC members. They have visited Accra Sports Stadium and we will check it out together with the updates coming in from them. When are they expecting CAF officials to be here to expect everything? Well, we will talk about it together with some players who are playing. Today we have some UEFA Europa League matches and some EFL games as well. So we'll talk about some Ghanaian players who are being involved and doing so well. But unfortunate news is that one ringer who is playing so well at the moment he has picked up an injury today. I'll talk about it together with some few other updates. If you have joined me, take your time, like the video as always. After that, if you're new, subscribe to the channel, put us on post notifications so that I drop the latest update. You'll be the first person to get and also enjoy. Do all the good stuff. I also give shout out to you who commented under the last video. So stick and stay for your shout out. Let me quickly run you through the latest updates. Yes, so let me still stick with the Parliament Select Committee on Sports. As I said, yesterday they sat and yesterday they spoke with Sadiq Adam Sports Obama because he's the leader of Save Ghana Football. He's one of the leaders. Then we also have um, you know, the uh, Minister of Youth and Sports, he was also there, Mustafa Yusuf. I've brought you all those updates together with a rare from Ghana Football Association. Today, we have Sports Writers Association. We also had Steven Apia, Tonado, former captain for the Black Stars team, as well as the National Sports Authority. I've brought you all those updates already. Now, right after the sitting, then the Minister of Youth and Sports, Mustafa Yusuf, together with some NSA members, they actually troop into a craft sports stadium to inspect the pitch because yesterday the minister said that right now they have a craft sports stadium as well as cape coast and they are only waiting for calf to come here and re-inspect you know our venues and um, for them to actually approve it for the black stars team to use so they went there to visit the place i also understand that they will be coming to cape coast right now they are working on both a craft sports stadium and cape coast sports stadium to make sure that if calf officials comes in they will actually accept one of them. They are expecting the officials to arrive either this week, tomorrow is Thursday or Friday, or early next week, Monday, they are expecting them to arrive in Ghana here. So they want to make sure that everything will be put in place before they come. So let's check it out. I have seen that GTV Sports Plus, yes, they shared this video for us. It's not all that clear, but this is a shot they gave to us that the minister visited them with some few other members let's check it out after that we also look at the pitch and how our craft sports stadium is looking at the moment after that we'll talk about some more in this one Because I'm maintaining me. So I'm going to see, I know what that guy. You see, I have Bani, I want to say, yes, 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 yes. Bani, they're good for my gun. Now, come on, Bani, you're new. I can make that. I can make it fast. Even, baby, I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to so that is it also for you on this channel now looking at today's pictures and today's videos you could see that it is not only the craft sports stadium page that they are working on it yes um they are doing some weathering work at the back there you know putting a lot of things together if you'll be watching the video you get to know that they are still working on a on a whole lot of things over there i've already told you that it is not only the page that's not looking great if you go to the washrooms at Sakra Sports Stadium, it is not in good condition. And they have to also work on the speakers in the stadium as well. So they have to work on all these things. So they have to make sure that all the works in Sakra Sports Stadium, at least 80-90%, they have to finish it this week 
and we will see how things will go. Cape Coast Sports Stadium, to understand, they are also working on it. Cape Coast, the issues are not all that much. So, if um, you know, initially, CAF actually revoked the um, opportunity for Ghana to play over there because of the pitch. But for now, I understand that green grass technology has been sent there, and I've already brought you the updates on this channel. So, these are some of the works going on that they have to actually finish before we will see how things will go. So, that is it also for you. What are your thoughts? Let me know it in the comment box. For now, they, ha they are not actually considering anywhere that Ghana will go and play, whether Togo, um, you know, Ivory Coast. For now, all the concentration is for Ghana to get a place to play here. Let's see how things will go. But can we trust them enough? That has been the question that we are all asking. Maybe, maybe we will play here. I'm seeing that we will play either at Accra or Cape Coast. So let's see how things will go. Now, um, one thing that I also missed out was Tornado Apia speaking about the Black Stars players' commitment. According to him, not only the captain, because at that time he was speaking about the captain or captaincy issues. He was like, the Blasters players needs to be committed. They need to show that kind of commitment when they are playing games. Shortly, let's check this out. After that, we'll talk more. I think it's not only the captain. It's not only the captain. But players who come to the national team, they have, they have to be committed. I'm not saying that. They have to be committed because you have 30 something million population. They are selected 23 and you are part of it. It's an honor. And you have to know that you are representing Ghana. So whatever you have to do to make it work, you have to. For the past five years, we are struggling. We are not seeing things like that. So I think it's not only the captain. You can be a captain, and you, you can be a good captain, but doesn't mean that you can win matches. But when you have your colleagues, that that they are hailing the same goal. I think that that's where you can make it. Because my time I was so lucky that I have players that they are hailing for the same goal. We have to qualify for the World Cup. We have to do better. And I think that luckily it happens. So it's not only you. It's about the people you are working with. If they have the same goal as you, it works. Yes, so that is it also coming in from the Black Stars former captain Steven Tornado appear as he spoke. He also emphasized that we should give opportunity to the local players or locally based players. Yes, we should also give the opportunity to play the Black Stars team, not only those who are playing in the foreign leagues. And even um, spoke about how bad the league is and they should strengthen it and a whole lot of issues. So I've also dropped a video. You can go and check it out for yourself to get all those details. Now, AZ Akma today, they locked home with IF Augsburg and this game we have four Ghanaian players or I would say basically five or six who were in the game yes but for now our own players that we can just invite them now they are four and they were involved in the game let me start from the home team that is talking of AZ Alkman we have Ibrahim Sadiq yes he is a fantastic player today he played but unfortunately on the 57th minute the player had an injury of where he has to be substituted this is not a good news at all because this season he's doing so well scoring four goals providing three assists doing so well in the Netherlands Eredivisie and carrying it to European game tonight he actually had an injury on the 57th minute he was rated 6.3 at that time and touches were 34 for him as of that time 15 completed passes after 17 attempts which is 88 percent that is good he also continued to do some few other things for his club side that I don't really want to waste time on him so Ibrahim Sadiq we will have to follow after today maybe tomorrow or the next to get to know if the injury will be bad because I think he's one player he can end call up to join the Black Stars team. Per the performances he's giving consistently, he's doing well, and I'll continue to follow him and see how things will go. Terry Yegbe also plays for the opposing team. That is talking of IF Osbok. They lost 3 2 years away, but they also performed well. He was rated 7.5. Terry Yegbe can play as a left back or a left center back. For um, IF Osbok, they play three back, so he's on the left side. So that is it also for him. He played 90 minutes today and had clearances of four one clearance off the line then block shot was one interceptions four tackles two 61 touches and 
31 passes completed out of 41 attempts and he also did some few other stuff. Michael Bedu is a starter as well. In the AFL's box team today, he played 78 minutes. No goal, no assist for him. 23 touches, 15 passes completed out of 15 attempts, which is 100% is great for the attacking midfielder. Then he also continued to do a whole lot of stuff for his club side. Jalal Abdullah also came on to do 35 minutes for his side, AFL's box, where he had touches of seven he did not complete any pass out of the two attempts and this some few other things getting a rating of 6.3 in the game today so these are the Ghanaian players that i said if you want to call them right now we can actually call them the Ghanaian players in the team but some other ones yes rome jd also drew goalkeeper for um az akma he today he also played and had 6.2 rating after 90 minutes and did some few other things one punch in the game one high claim 30 touches completing 17 passes out of 20 attempts for a goalkeeper is also a good one so as i said a lot of games will be played together with um, efl games so kudos will be playing for west ham party as of now seeing that party did not start for us now yes kudos too did not start for west ham against liverpool so if they all come on and do some few skirmishes i also bring it to you on, on this channel edmund Bedu was also in action for his club side i'll be south Bank. this boy he joined them from songda to um you know i'll be south Bank. when he joined south Bank, the first game he played for south Bank and the 19 side in the uefa champions league game and he assisted today he got a first start for the senior side in the ofb cup and he scored on the third minute three minutes into the game the striker actually scored which is also a good one he can play on the right wing or lead the lines also for the team and he scored a goal for himself so he's also doing well two matches to go contribution is a good one for the player so these are some of the few updates as i said i'll bring you more in my subsequent ones this is just a quick one the most morris thank you for being here theophilus um nana ado you also on this channel israel but i appreciate you so much and ponsan roberts you're also here okay um imano amane thank you new Warbeck, you are here oh to isaac is here Ezekiel dochedo is here prince kobe you are also here um Ezekiel. okay i think i've mentioned already frank m four two four five thank you plus flash flash you also here hey some names are here plus flash flash thank you jockey jackie you also on this channel blue view capital is here janka town movies is here ameti jani is also here nana kwame you are here afari foster is here iki is two three three mr vordy dache hene chris akom stefan dk isaac um aj niampong okay thank you or oh, niampam yes swanzi kuje you are also here um look mensa tvg is princess hearts scanty one i am fanatabi all of you guys i know you'll be coming to comment like the video and also share for others me subscribe put on the bell for more updates on this channel this is kenny tv and of course we shall meet later